Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my compact vertical plan with me for March 13th through the 19th. I'll be decorating with a variety of things today. Daisy Dreams from Boulder Bond is the name of the sticker kit that I'm going to start with and use as my foundation. Then I've also pulled out way more washi than I could possibly want to use to go along with this sticker sheet. So I'm going to be decorating maybe a little bit differently than I normally do because I've been using my compact vertical as a place to write out my memory verse for the week every single day. And I feel like that lends itself to a little bit of bullet journaling, decorative capability that I don't necessarily have room for when I'm planning out my days. So here is last week. I had my memory verse for the week and then each day I wrote it out in a different style of handwriting and gave myself a check mark every time I said the verse aloud. Here is the week before and so before this, I was not doing memory verses. I was doing my regular plans, but I was inspired by Angel in my Facebook group to try doing this, and so far I'm really enjoying it. So let's go ahead and decorate this guy. Boulder Bond has really nice stickers that are printed on weatherproof matte sticker paper, with which gives it a very vibrant look, and it's also... Um, sort of um, a different texture than regular paper. So if you haven't tried Boulder Bond and you want to, I have a discount code that is Sarah15 that will get you 15% off. And Bonnie is the shop owner. She is such a sweetheart and she sends me kits to share with you guys in my videos and I'm so grateful for that. Daisies happen to be my husband's favorite flower so the kits that I have for the month of March all sort of have a hint of daisy or a bunch of daisy in them and I think that's really really beautiful. So what we're doing right now, you notice I covered up the month, I am going to replace that. What we're doing is just decorating and making a beautiful space where I can practice writing my memory verse. But if you have a compact vertical and you don't want to use yours for a memory verse, you might have a compact vertical as your main planner, then this is really not a whole lot different in terms of how I decorate. It's, it's really kind of the same idea. I just use the stickers a little bit differently than I did when I was using it to make my plans. And I want to give a shout out to Shania from my Facebook group who asked about this particular video. I put up my hourly plan with me night before last. So late, late, late Saturday night. In fact, it may have been Sunday morning because of daylight savings time when it actually posted to YouTube. But she said, is there also going to be the compact vertical video today? And she asked that yesterday and I could not do it. I was just tuckered out because I had made a bunch of sticker kits to fill orders for my brand new Etsy shop, which is just called Plan Sarah Plan, where I don't offer a whole lot, but I offer monthly kits. And I had way more orders than I anticipated. So thank you to everyone who came out and either favorited my shop or made a purchase from my shop. I'm so grateful to you. That is such a nice supportive thing to do. And I filled every single one of those orders Saturday and then there were more orders Sunday. I filled those and um, it was quite a job because I have one sticker machine. I have, <laughs> I have one printer and I'm a one woman operation. So it took me a while to do it. Um, but I didn't get to do the video. So this is Monday morning, the 13th, and which is just as good because this planner starts on Monday. So Shania, this is dedicated to you. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but I took my days of the week across. This is not how the planner comes. It goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this way. But I went across Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday just because that's fun for me. And I will need to white out St. Patrick's Day because it's not on Wednesday. Okay, so let's go on over to this and see what we want to do. We don't have check boxes in this kit, which is what I used the last two weeks to check off how many times I said the memory verse aloud. 
we have hours of the day, which I'm not going to need, but I could use these little guys right here, these little paint like brush strokes. I could put those up here and I could check off how many times. In fact, let's save this. I might put it on top of some washi. So let's come back to this. And let me pull out something else that I want to show you. I've got some stickers that were gifted to me from my friend Nadia from Simply Smith Stickers. And these are from an Easter kit, I think. Um, well, this is definitely from an Easter kit. But she sent me so many stickers that I have enough to kind of start using now before I do a plan with me with these, um, with the kit that it's meant for, for Easter week. So I've got all these crosses and of course a cross will be great to put into this sort of a context. So I've got the crosses, I've got some Easter decor, and then I've got church buildings and I have, well, here's another cross sticker sheet. I've got this, which is all different shades of skin and hair color of a woman reading a book. And we will say that she is reading her Bible. And here are some church buildings and here are Bible stickers. There's another sheet of these that I've cut up into smaller sheets so that I could tuck them in a little storage book here on my desk. So we've got that, and then I showed you all of the washi tape. I also have my handy dandy Mama Gloria Shop Bibles that I use all the time. I have so much stuff here. So here is some washi we could use, and here is some, these are not daisies, I think these are little yellow roses, but the color scheme goes. Here is like a moss green grid, moss green sort of greenery. This is some floral washi from the washi tape shop. This is a brush stroke. You can see what I'm saying here. This is way more than I'm going to be able to use. This gilded washi, maybe it's called gilt washi from the washi tape shop. Gingham, my all-time favorite thing. More gingham. And some, this might be too orange to use, but I pulled it just in case. This is Erin Condren, Old Joy washi tape. This is kind of a moss-colored skinny washi. And these are little dots and some yellow skinny washi. So I just went crazy and pulled out everything that might conceivably work. As far as leaving room to write the memory verse, it's not all that long. It's the second one here. And the king will answer and say to them, assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Matthew 25, 40. So that will not need the entire thing, but maybe two thirds of it. So I could kind of play with a third of the space on each of these days. Okay, the first thing I think I want to do, and this is, I guess there's no wrong way to do this, but I want to put some corners here on the bottom. So we're going to white out this March calendar and just put corners up. Pretty simple. turned out pretty nicely. And the next thing that I want to do is modify this box so that it doesn't cover the entire rectangle here of empty space and also so that it no longer has the checklist. So let's see if I can do that. I, I want to kind of make it shorter and more narrow and then set it here so that this little corner still sticks out a little bit. worked out pretty well, don't you think? Pretty well. I might embellish it a little bit more, just put a little bit more stuff around it, but this is where I will write the reference memory verse. So I will write it out here, and then the first few times that I write it, I'll need to probably consult this until I really get it committed to memory, and then I won't have to look at that. That's the idea. So next, let's see what we want to do around like the bottom area of each one of these days. I think the best thing to do would be to just put a little pop of this sort of floral stuff here at the bottom. I might leave a little space here underneath it to put something else, like possibly the moss skinny washi. Um, and then when we get down here, I'm going to trim it so that it looks like it's tucked behind that corner. So let's do it.
right, I definitely think we're getting somewhere here. I love how that looks. So let's put a cross. I wanna use one of the larger crosses. And I think this one is the right one. The one that's big, but not embellished with anything. This will be the other. Well, look, that looks really nice also. But I don't want it to fight with the daisies. So let's do this. Let's just use this one. And I'm going to kind of space it between Sunday and the reference verse so that I don't take up too much room for writing. Put it right there. Okay, and then we've got some other deco. I want to save most of this for Easter, but I think that we could use the Holy Bible one. Um, we could use the little greenery stickers, the little dove. That might be nice here. Let's put the dove right here kind of cover up where I pieced that sticker together. And then I'll trim off that little bit that's hanging over. And let's go ahead and use this little branch. Maybe put it up here. And I am going to put the months back up here. We can put that there. And, oh, I like this one. This is like a Bible with a cup of coffee. We could cover up St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday since it's really on Friday. Let's just put that there. Okay, so to check off my four times of saying the verse every day, why don't we make a four box little checklist thing with these brush strokes by using a clean color dot marker like that. And then I can just check each one when I say the verse aloud. Actually really like how that turned out and um, it's just kind of a matter of thinking outside the box when you're using the planner stickers for something other than what they were atten intended for okay so I want to just kind of keep track that it is March so I made some month stickers and it is 2023 and these are leftover date stickers from another Boulder Bond kit <clears throat> Not all of the kits come with date numbers, but you could easily just write the date on there. But if you have extra numbers that you've saved from other weeks, then use those. I used to not keep the extra numbers because I wasn't sure what to do with them. But I have used mine so many times just for when I make my own little spread without a sticker kit. But I decorate it with just random stickers from my stash then the numbers come in very handy for that. So it did, by the way, snow here yesterday, Sunday, the 12th. And, but it didn't snow badly. And I've been talking about for weeks how it has felt like an early spring here in Southwestern Virginia. And I was a little worried that the beautiful blossoms around town would get messed up, but I don't think they have, at least not the ones on our street. I don't think that we have a big issue with the buds getting messed up, so that's nice. Nothing like early blossoms and then a blizzard or something to knock them all out and turn them brown, but that didn't happen. It was just a very light snow. Okay, so we've got our dates on there, and now we want to add one more sticker thing before we start to write anything, and that will be a place for me to write the reference, so the place where the verse comes from in the book of Matthew. So I have been using these really skinny ones for that because there are seven of those. So what we could do is put it on this washi, which would look kind of nice. Let's do that, but let's shrink it a little bit. So I'm gonna go into time-lapse and the way I'm going to shrink it, this is an idea that is not mine. It is from Plan with Elise, I think. One of my viewers told me that it was. And so 
it's a great idea. It's just you, sh you shorten your sticker by cutting it and then overlapping it to make it the size you want it to be. So like this, and tweezers do help, especially if you wanna line up the little dashed lines like the ones that are on this sticker. And you could go all the way to the edge, which I think I will do. That's not exactly centered, and I bet I could move it since it's on top of washi tape. Yeah, let's just center it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna put one of those on every day on top of that floral washi. Okay, this is gorgeous, but I can't leave well enough alone. So I'm gonna use the moss colored grid washi tape and just kind of tear and use this to fake hold on this little sticker where we're going to write the text. Like so. have to admit this is really fun and this is more like bullet journaling technique than it is planner technique the way that I'm used to it but it's fun gives you a little artsy outlet not that I need an artsy outlet I do play piano <laughs> that's a little artsy but this is a different kind of artsy Okay, not sure how to act like we did this one unless I, well, I do know what to do. I'm going to go like this, where it would be underneath that little corner, and just go like that. Bingo. All right, I'm really happy with this, so it's time to start writing. We're going to write in a few places, so... First of all, let me just tell you that I've used up everything in this kit except for the larger event stickers and the hours, which I don't need, but I've used everything else pretty much. So you can use a planning sticker kit to do something like this. You just have to think outside of the box and um, just make it work for what you're doing. Okay, so first place we're gonna write is on the acrylic board from the seasonal surprise box with the wet erase marker. That's really a pen, if you ask me. That is my new favorite toy for writing on wet erase surfaces. So let's copy the verse down and then we'll put it, so this is gonna set on my desk as a reference, but also we will have a reference just on this little box like this one and this one. So we'll put it right there. So. This is what I'm going to write. I'll go into time lapse to do it and I'll do this so that your eyes won't hurt from seeing the writing underneath that. Isn't that just the coolest? And the pen writes so beautifully on acrylic. You do have to, if you've gotten it and you don't think yours works, shake it up and you do have to pump it. So you have to depress that tip a few times to get the ink flowing, but then it works beautifully. I'm crazy about it. So this will go here on my desk as a reference and then we'll go back to the weekly spread and write it on that little box. And I'm going to use a pen that I think works really well on Boulder Bond stickers, the Sharpie Roller 05. Also, this one works really well. This is an Erin Condren pen that seems to be the exact same thing. And this works really well. So it's just all the same thing. So let's write it right here.
Do you think we did enough? Is this good? I feel like I have plenty of space to write, so it's truly functional, but it's really dolled up. It's really decorated. Now, because I've had this planner since July of 2022, and it's March 2023, and this is completely full of stickers, I have a tip for any of you who have the same situation. Put something like this. This is an Erin Condren item that actually has a triangular back that you fold up and it acts as a stand and then there's a pad that goes in here but I've taken the pad out because you know what I just wanted the flat side that doesn't fold that's vegan leather to use as a writing surface under the pages that are really bulked up so that's something you can do if you don't have something vegan leather of course you don't have to use something like that you could just use something like a softbound journal you could use the cover of one of those or you could just keep it like that put it underneath or any flat surface really um, you can also take the page and put all your pages over on one side and put your writing surface here flat on a desk or something but that does bump you up against this coil quite a bit so you maybe want to even put a book under that if you did it just to prop it up but it is doable so here is what we have and I think this is enough I think it's enough I think we're just gonna leave it like this and what I like to do at the end of my weekly plan with me both the hourly and the compact vertical is say a prayer for the upcoming week and I invite you to join me for that if you would like to Heavenly Father, thank you for my planner friends who are joining me now in prayer. We join hands together virtually across space and time to unite in lifting our hearts up to you. Forgive us for anything that has not been right in our lives and put us on the right path toward fulfilling the purpose that you have for us here on earth. Bless each of us with exactly what it is that you see we need. Give us grateful hearts that are trained to see the gifts that you give us every single day. Ease the suffering of your children when they are coping with illness, disease, or pain. Lighten the loads of those who carry heavy burdens. Bring gladness and laughter to those who are lonely or depressed. Bring your will to pass in every nation and give courage and determination to those who are carrying out your plans across the globe. Make systems of evil and corruption crumble from their foundations and put righteousness in their place. Guard our hearts from evil and make us vigilant to reject base impulses and temptation. Set us apart as your own, even as we live among the lost. May your spirit use us as vehicles of love and truth so that others might be drawn nearer to you for having spent time with us. Be with our loved ones and protect them from harm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, that's going to do it for me. I truly hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time with me hanging out or maybe planning yourself in your own planner. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.